All right, guys, so today I'm out at my other dump yard. One of my other ones, I have them like three or four. And I am spreading some chips and I'm gonna move some wood around, try to get this organized for them a little bit better. We are just trying to get some of these out so I can start redumping on top of what's already there. So that's what we'll be doing. Gonna take a little bit of time lapse of that for you guys and we'll be going from there. I am running the 82 inch bucket, the root grapple bucket from Bobcat. This is their own bucket. I don't know who makes it for them. Maybe they make it, I don't know. But this is the Bobcat. This is the loaner. I might possibly be buying the loaner for, from them um, and letting them keep the uh, newly, the brand new one that's coming in at, for the discount. We'll have to see what they're willing to give me. Of course, this is the T770. And I am going to use this to sift through some chips and get some stuff done and there we go. All right, guys, so I just had the neighbor come out and talk to me. Hold on. I just had the neighbor come out and talk to me and tell me that she wanted some of this wood that she had already talked to the neighbor about on her property. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it over there to her place and she's gonna pay me some money for it because I gotta get it organized anyway, so. It's not that bad of a deal. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm running at full RPM because, well, this is a lot of smooth, long runway. And even though I'm not as smooth on the controls as I'd like to be with the buckets with this thing, it's very new, it's very jittery. And I just don't have that many years of experience in comparison to some of you guys. Um, it's, you know, not, Try not to damage it by any means. So, you know, just pushing around some wood and maneuvering it, and trying to be efficient on the. She Hold just on. came out to pay me, so that was nice. But yeah, this thing, I think that track was the issue. There is a little bit of a click. In the back on the right hand side, we wonder if the idler didn't go bad, but it seems to be going away a little bit. So I'm wondering if once this new track uh, stretched out, it didn't kind of resolve that. So it's still under warranty. We can deal with that later if it becomes a big issue. But right now, we're just dealing with one thing at a time, and it seems to be running pretty well at the moment. So I'm not going to complain about that and um, just trying to, of course, get this stuff moved around where it needs to be. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I had the wrong one. Thought I was further back than I was. Okay. So the Aspen stays for the the neighbor here that's got all this wood that I'm dumping on their yard and the other stuff goes to the neighbor that just paid me. It's one of those deals like that, you know. Out here people are real finicky about what they burn. Burning is still a common thing, of course, for winter. Um, like it is in most of the, you know, Midwest and Western states. And people out here are really particular about what they burn. Lock will only burn pinion pine or dog fir or whatever they can get that's a pine, conifer, spruce, whatever. And then some won't burn it at all and will only burn cottonwood. Some hate cottonwood and will only burn elm and, you know, aspen. Some will only burn out. It's just, I don't know. 
everybody's got their preferences, I guess, so that's kind of what this is all about. Most of what I'm bringing over here um, right now is a mix of elm and Siberian elm, some American elm, and um, cottonwood. There's various forms of cottonwood that we have out here, but that's what I'm doing for the elm. See if this is good enough for her. See if she says anything. She's not looking at me, so I guess we're good. it called the um, lot cleaned up a bit more not completely but it's pretty good it allows us to dump a little bit more there the neighbor wants more of that wood and um, the chips are moved enough to where I have some spaces because I've got a lot of chips coming in real soon um, tomorrow uh, or Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday through Friday is going to be two big jobs and then I've got a really big job the week after that that I start so yep that's what's going on Monday and Tuesday are my photo shoot with Weaver looks like it's going to rain us out on Tuesday so we'll do the best we can on Monday so yep that's it for tonight I'll talk to you guys in the next one bye